In this video, we are going to look at seven things I wished I knew before I started my building project in Ghana coming up next. Now, the very first thing that I wished I knew was SuperSem Ghana. SuperSem Ghana are makers of the best cement in Ghana. The reason why I have the confidence to say that they are one of the best is because I've been to their labs and their factory and the kind of quality that these people put into their cement is just amazing. We filmed an interview and it's going to come up very soon on the, on the channel. So if you haven't yet subscribed, kindly ensure to subscribe so you don't miss it. But apart from that, the other reason why I wish I knew about SuperSem is when I was doing things like my compound concrete casting, plastering and other stages of the building project, I needed large quantities of cement. Sometimes you need about 300 bags, 400 bags, 500 bags, right? In the course of a normal like three bedroom house building project, when you are going to consider internal or interior and exterior plastering, the block work, the mortar, the concrete, and all the compound works and things like that, you are going to use at least 500 bags of cement before your building project comes to an end. Now imagine when I started my building project, a bag of cement was selling at about 35 Ghana cities. Today it's selling at almost 100 Ghana cities. But guess what? With SuperSem, if you are ordering quantities of 400 bags and above, not only are they going to give you free transportation, but they are going to give you wholesale price as well, like as if you were a distributor or a merchant. And we are really excited that they have partnered with us to be supplying real estate developers and individual homeowners like yourself who are building. And we are grateful to SuperSem for sponsoring this video. Now, the second thing that I wished I knew before I started my building project, right? Before I even went to do like inspection and all these things, is I wish that I had bought some of the materials I needed for finishing from China. Now, what do I mean? When it comes to the cost of finishing a building project, I think we looked at it in detail last week. And one of the questions that we keep getting is, oh, how much will it cost to complete a three-bedroom house? I think that's one of the most asked questions of all time that we receive on our channel. And what we have seen is that putting up the structure, like if you watch this video, which is played on your screen, putting up the core and shell, like, the block work, the foundation, block work, lintel, and roofing is one of the easiest parts of the building project. The real cost in completing a building is from roofing all the way to finishing. Because the normal three-bedroom house that people keep asking about, how much would it cost me to complete a three-bedroom house? And somebody's asking if they have like 300,000, can you complete a three-bedroom house? It might be able to do the structure. You might be able to do the foundation and everything but when it comes to the finishing when it comes to things like windows and you want your building to look as beautiful as what you are seeing on the screen with the cantilevers the windows the glass and everything it is going to cost you a lot when it comes to things like kitchen finishing like what you are seeing right and in the course of time i have discovered some apps that help you to purchase things from China even if you are in Ghana and the prices are so 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 cheap the first app is Ali Alibaba right so let me show you this is Alibaba and the prices of materials or items on Alibaba are so cheap and the thing is if you are like you have the minimum <laughs> apologies if you have their minimum other quantities you can get materials for so cheap including things like toilet sinks kitchen the appliances you are going to use in your kitchen lights and all these things i wish i had known about alibaba before i started my building project to be honest and then their partner app is aliexpress so with alibaba you need to have like a a shipping line that's going to do the deliveries for you but with aliexpress they do international shipping right so things like the solar cameras 
I've been talking about, I got them from AliExpress. Things like, you know, the WCs, the Vanity Mirrors, almost everything. In fact, if you want a 100 inches TV, that's in Ghana, they'll be selling for about 60 something thousand Ghana CDs. You can get it as low as 5,000 CDs in China. And you know, in today's world, like almost everything is manufactured in China. And so for me, even like towels, doors, CCTV, everything, doorbells, almost everything is manufactured in China, right? So it's going to save you a lot of money. And the good thing is that you don't need to purchase it when you are like close to finishing it. Another thing I've learned is that don't wait till you need something to purchase it. Like order it way ahead of time. What do I mean? So if today you want to do tiles, don't purchase your tiles today. Try and purchase it maybe six months ahead of time because that six months difference in Ghana, especially in Ghana, can be the difference between 20,000 and 30,000 cities. I remember when I was doing the tiling for the ground floor of my building project, right? The total cost of tiles was about 20 to 23,000 cities. Then when I was doing the first floor, that was after six months, the same like surface area to be tiled even this time, I didn't do the entire surface area. I did just a little of it. And Charlie, the price was like over 30,000 CDs. And it was mind blowing, right? So in just six months, you are losing about 10,000 Ghana CDs. And I, I almost use the same quality of tiles throughout. And so the point is, don't wait till the thing becomes urgent before you go into it. And that leads me to the next one, the borehole don't wait till it becomes urgent and critical where you need a borehole or you need a source of water before you would now say you want to go and drill a borehole then once you are like you it's urgent and people can sense your desperation they tend to want to take advantage of you right because they know you don't have a lot of options and so when you don't have a lot of options you don't have a lot of bargaining power but if you started your borehole at the start of the building project again this is another example where time comes to play when i started my building project boreholes were like four thousand five hundred five thousand things so even last year boreholes were about seven thousand to ten thousand ghana cities right but then for about three years i was purchasing water in this kind of um poly tank or water tank that you are seeing on the screen so they'll bring three of them each one can be about 150 to 200 cities. So this tank that you are seeing can be about 500 cities to 600 Ghana cities. And in the course of like maybe one month to two months, that 600 cities of water is finished, right? So even when you are doing your land inspection and everything, you need to start negotiating with like a borehole company who is going to deliver that borehole service for you at the start of your project and not when it has become critical and that way even if there's like salt in the water right the water is salty you get enough time to plan how you are going to treat it because treatment in ghana is also expensive but then when you wait till you are ready to move into the house and where you are building your your house at there isn't a ready source of water then now you are desperate your water may be salty or hard. You are going to look for extra money to treat it. And the period from when you started your building project till now probably means that the price has doubled or tripled or even quadrupled. So the running theme of today's video is going to be don't wait for anything to become urgent before you go for it. Start it when, before you even like dig your foundation. I don't know if it's making sense. If it's making sense, I want you to also share what are some of the things that you've learned now that you wished you knew before you even started your own building project. Kindly comment below and let me know. And as usual, comment where you are watching from. It's really, really important to us so that we all learn from each other, right? Share some of the tips that you have learned now 
that you wished you knew before you started your building project. The next thing is the solar cameras. Now, when I posted this thing about the solar cameras, some people said, oh, it will be stolen and so many things. So I'm linking the fourth point to the fifth point, right? Which is wall your property and put a gate on it. Wall your property and put a gate on it. So don't just say, oh, I'm going to invest in solar cameras on a plain land like this. And then you put a pole on it and then you put your camera on it obviously not so ideally what you would want to do is to get a wall and then get a gate once you get a wall and a gate the next thing is the very next point which is the fifth point right to get a storage shed get a storage shed Right, and once you get a storage shed, you are going to be able to put it under lock and key. Sometimes you can even get a caretaker to come and live in that storage shed. Okay, and the benefit again of having a storage shed is if you construct it out of wood, then what that means is that later on in the building project, you can convert that wood into scaffolding, you can use it for boards for like your columns and your beams and all those things so they have multiple advantages and most of them are closely related getting a storage shed putting up a wall and a gate on the property and once you have secured the property you are going to put your solar cameras now another reason why i would encourage you to get a wall and a gate as early as possible is many a times especially if you are building in accra you start a building project people are passing by they usually want to peep and see what's happening and so if your land is bare right your land is bare like this then anybody passing can see the building that is ongoing there's no wall and usually when there's no wall what happens is that these asafwache or land guards or hoodlums or anybody who wants to just interfere or trespass on your property can just come in at any time and sometimes they come and beg you for money those are the seemingly nice ones. There are others who don't even come and beg. They come demanding, hey, if you are digging, come and pay digging fee. And so many inconveniences. But when you have your wall and your gates, and especially if your wall is very, very tall, then you don't really have some of these issues. So wall and gate, super important. Storage shed, super important. And then the solar camera. Because, one, it provides not necessarily security but it provides you visibility on what is going on at your building site now the reason why this is important is because apart from the fact that you have a storage shed you need to be able to supervise your building project and i think we've spoken about supervision quite extensively on this channel and we said if you don't have time to supervise or the means and technology to supervise don't even start the building project don't start at all because sometimes you take a hundred bags of cement to your site put it in your storage shed the people who are working for you can be packing some of the bags and using it on other projects or going to sell it now if you have your camera you can monitor what is going on at any point in time even when you are not on prem right like you're outside the country like most of you are in the diaspora you're able to monitor on your phones and apps and all these things in real time and apart from that they have two-way communication so you can hear audio right it has a microphone built-in microphone and you can hear the audio of the people if they are talking about you if they are not being honest if they are lazing about etc you hear it real time and then again you can also communicate to them now that even the one the point that's super important to me is you have evidence right because sometimes building projects don't go as planned or you plan that you start and complete in six months but a lot of things happen in life that we are all aware of and let's say there's a break in let's say your caretaker is misbehaving let's say even the poor man or the masons at site are the ones stealing your materials you have evidence to prosecute them when you take them to court so it has so many benefits and if you're in ghana we have a large shipment of these solar cameras which would be coming in two weeks so you can send us 
an email or a DM on Instagram, and then we can supply you some. Or for me, I don't really care. You can go on AliExpress or Amazon and order them, right? We've shared the link several times. You can just go and then order them. Make sure you read the reviews and make sure you are getting the right models which have the international SIM cards so that you put a SIM card in the camera and then you ensure that there's data on it. And from there, you can monitor. It even has night vision and all these things. The benefits are immense. And so we've spoken about, if you are just joining, we are talking about seven things I knew or I wish I knew before I started my building project. The first one was that you can purchase your cement in bulk from SuperSem. They're going to give you free delivery and you're going to get it at wholesale price. Today, where a bag of cement is almost 100 CDs, imagine you are making 10 to 20% savings on bags of cement. When you purchase like 300, 400 bags of cement, you are making a lot of savings. 10% of even 100 CDs is 10 CDs, right? And so if you are purchasing 1,000 bags, then you are saving 10 times 1,000, which is 10,000 CDs. So some of these things on the surface, they don't look like a lot, but when you compound it, you are making a lot of savings. And I hope that makes sense to you. If you are finding value in this video, please make sure to hit the like button. There are only eight likes on the video. Please, 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 please like this video, okay? So that encourages me, especially the people who will be watching the replay. Click like and let us know that you are enjoying it. And like I said, also comment where you are watching from and then your own tips about things you've learned. And I'm going to read some of the comments pretty soon and then move to the next one. So Dotty says, good evening. I'm watching from the UK. If there was one thing I would do differently, I would have done my borehole earlier in my project. I finally did it last year at a cost of 17,000 CDs. Exactly my point, right? That don't wait till it becomes urgent. Don't wait till you are desperate. Then the cost just increases. Last year, but I mean, Dotty, doing it last year for 17,000, I think you were ripped off. Because I did mine this year and it was about 14,000. And from the research I've done, it's currently between 14 to 20k right and last year was around seven to ten thousand cities and that tells you the prices of things once you are desperate can just double okay between from last year 2023 to 2024 things are just doubling in ghana and in lots of african countries so start some of these things before you even do your foundation it's really really important like i'll say with the water example every like month i was buying about 600 ghana cities of water for block work like the lane of the blocks concrete so many things and 600 cities a month i've been on the project for about four years so in a year that's 7200 even seven times four it's 20 so i spent about 28,000 cities on water when finally i came to do it this year for 14,000, like half of the amount i've spent so far so for me I'm sharing this with you so that some of you who are yet to start will avoid this. I know many of you have already started and almost completed your building project. But share this video with somebody who is yet to start so that they benefit from it. And as you also share your own experiences, those who come and watch the replay will benefit from it. So Benjamin says, please, your volume just went down. Oh, apologies. Um, is it better now? Can you guys hear me though? Is the volume down? Is it up? I'm trying to like work on the settings of the microphone and things to reduce the clapping. So let me know if you are still getting those clicking, clapping sounds. I'll keep experimenting till I get it, I get it right. Okay, so today I reduce the volume on the camera itself. And I hope you are not hearing those clapping, clapping sounds. So let me know. Bra Prince Glory says, where can I get some of the solar cameras? You can get it on Amazon, AliExpress. If you're in Ghana too, we can supply you some. So just send us an email, africabuildinghub at gmail.com. There's, there's great court says, keep it on, bro. All right, thanks. Um, Kwabdan Jani says, I also think if you could afford to buy your own scaffolding, that would also be good savings in the long run, especially if you are building multiple stories i perfectly agree with you some things that 
you are going to use throughout your building projects scaffolding shovels wheelbarrows ideally you should be able to purchase it like at the start of the building project don't wait till it becomes urgent now why is this important again typically when you are renting something like a wheelbarrow it costs between 25 to 50 cds per day guess what a wheelbarrow is sold for 550 cds so about 800 cds and so if you are renting it for even 50 cds a day in about two weeks you have given the guy his initial investment that he used to purchase it do you understand so most of these things eh, i think it's good for you to purchase it even if you are not doing like multiple building projects when you are done you could always rent them out or sell it back so i don't think it's a bad investment if you are even into like estate projects then it doesn't make sense for you to keep renting it just purchase it outright the scaffolding like this they call something a room or one room or whatever and then they say they charge about 250 cities per room so imagine that you are doing two rooms that's like 500 cities or whatever like they have some funny funny calculations meanwhile if you purchase this thing at the start of your building project you are going to use it throughout your building project if you are doing a story building, you are doing internal like external plastering you are doing the piping the plumbing the electric house i going to use scaffolding painting roof works it will come sir, in the course of the building project so you are done so yeah i think you should purchase them now the good thing is if you have like a friend or family member that you are building with right then you guys can combine resources and purchase some of these materials or equipment and it's not like solely your burden and then it reduces the cost so like there's one guy who has been commenting a lot about common unity and i think it's a good idea if there's a community of people like the diaspora people from united kingdom or like the new york gang on the africa building hub community and you're all building in ghana within the same area most people are building like amasaman pokwasi east Legon hills and things like that right then you can come together and say oh let's contribute and purchase some of these items and let's use them together i think it makes a lot of sense um salome tata says watching from spain how is it in spain um there's good court says you have been a blessing to some of us oh mwah, mwah, mwah. i'm glad to hear that george awimbila says yeah we can hear you clearly great 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 peace rain says volume is good henry says we can hear you fantastic all of you hearing me right comment on the things you've learned now that you wished you knew seven years ago when it comes to building especially based on your personal experience eric fosu says i didn't know you have a youtube channel and even do live videos on here thank you so much for sharing the videos of the door recommendations i asked earlier that information is very helpful oh i'm sure you are coming from like instagram or something right or maybe even, i don't know but yeah we have youtube like we started on youtube the instagram and tiktok people there we just started that last year but we've been on youtube for about two years this year will be the second year or is it no yeah this year will be the second year and if you want long form videos they're on youtube instagram and tiktok we just do short short videos of the videos that already exist on youtube so if that's the first time you are finding this guy wearing his cap at this time of the night sitting here welcome to africa building hub we are creating a community of people who want to build buy and rent in ghana but we believe that whatever lessons we share are applicable to any country in africa and so if you like that kind of content subscribe and turn on all notifications okay um henry says it's okay now um how much are the cameras you're importing so when i look at the amount of the camera and then the taxes shipping by dhl and then when it comes to ghana the customs clearing we just added a small profit margin it's selling at 2750 for one right um, it includes a 128 gig sd card so it can actually store the video footage for months and when you come back you can pick the evidence and all that um bukari says how much is the scaffold okay so i think i've spoken about that right knowledge said 57 people watching and only 22 likes you are getting information that will help oh right knowledge i think i should make you an administrator 
please if you are watching the video and you are getting value from it please hit the like right hit the like can we get including the live and the replay people can we get at least 500 likes on this video we'll be closing pretty soon because i think we've gone through all the things and then um ta of four says please concerning the borehole i'm told if you leave it and use for some time example two to three months while preparing to get back to your project the pump may get spot how true is that thomas from dubai if you stop using your borehole for two to three months i don't know why the pump should get spot if anybody has that experience please comment below and let me know please comment below and let me know